Honourable Ministers, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is an important honour for me to speak on behalf of the United Kingdom at this important meeting. I would like to thank the Government of Romania for their warm hospitality and everything they have done to make this conference a success. The United Kingdom believes that the ITU plays a critically important role in telecommunications and ICTs. We are committed to working with our colleagues here to ensure that all of the world is enabled to engage fully and harness the full potential of these technologies. This is a very important commitment for me. When we talk about connecting the world, we recognize that a third of the world isn't currently on the internet, but that figure doesn't give the full picture. 96% of people who are unconnected, not connected, live in the developing world. Only 60% of Africa is online, compared to 10% uh, compared to of Europeans who are not. We cannot connect the world where these disparities exist, and that is why the ITU's work in this area is so very important. In the UK, we are proud to support capacity building through our digital access program, supported, supported by 100 million US dollars of UK funding, which has directly reached 7.8 million people. We are working with over 100 countries on cyber capacity building, and our Space Agency's International Partnership Program works with developing countries using technology to deliver sustainable development with 170 million US dollars of UK funding. Telecommunications and ICTs have expanded and developed at a tremendous pace over recent years. The regulatory and standardization landscape has become increasingly broad and complex. It is more important than ever for the ITU to forge a modern, collaborative and strategic role in this 21st century landscape. This means building partnerships for the common good, fully understanding the roles of other organizations working in the field of ICTs and support member states to navigate the new, this new landscape. The ITU is at its best when it opens its doors to other stakeholders and builds a spirit of common purpose. It offers an important global platform for collaboration on a set of common opportunities and common challenges. For example, we welcome the ITU's response to the COVID pandemic setting up the Global Network's resiliency, resiliency platform and allowing ICT regulators and policymakers and other stakeholders to share information and best practice. Such initiatives demonstrate the value of the ITU and the unique partnerships it can build. We also commend the ITU's work to support the recovery of telecoms infrastructure in Ukraine at this critical time. The UK remains steadfast in our support for Ukraine. I would also like to pay tribute to the work of Malcolm Johnson as he steps down from his role as Deputy General Secretary. In the UK, we are very proud of Malcolm and the strong partnerships he has built across the ITU family and beyond. And as many of you know, the, IK, the UK is standing for election to the ITU Council at this conference. We are standing because we strongly support the ITU's mission to connect the world, connect the unconnected. We believe in building consensus and fostering cooperation and we want to work with others to help ensure the ITU continues to deliver effectively for the benefit of all its members. Thank you.